Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Dirk Daniel Van Geet and Geit. This game was played in Paramaribo in 1967. And where is Paramaribo? Paramaribo is the capital city of Suriname. And now you know everything. Dirk Daniel Van Geet had white pieces and he didn't like any opening in the book. So he invented his own opening called One Git Opening. Well, this is called One Git Opening in Netherlands and in Europe. And in America it is known as the Dunst Opening. D5. This is the most played move. E4. Black to move, black can switch to other openings like French defense or C6, Karo Khan defense. Black can also take on E4. Kite played D4, attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board. Knight to E2, E5, Knight to G3, and now g6, preventing white knight from going to f5 and h5, intending bishop to g7. Bishop to c4, bishop to g7, d3, c5, very impressive center. Knight to f3, knight to c6, c3, creating the tension in the center, and intending queen to b3 in some variations. And from g to e7, white to move. How would you continue? Perhaps a castle in kingset comes to mind. But it played the knight to g5, moving the same piece again. What is the purpose of this move? Can you see the purpose? Well, it is attacking the pawn on f7. But the problem can be easily solved by playing castling king's side. Did white to waste time by playing knight to g5? White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? This is a very interesting moment of the game. Castling looks like a normal move. But there was a surprise of epic proportions. One gate played. Knight to h5. Pervit black pieces was shaking his head in disbelief. What is going on? Of course, first move that comes to mind is pawn takes knight. Instead he played bishop to h8. Nobody wants to know what happens if pawn takes knight. But just in case, I will show it. If pawn takes knight, then queen takes on h5, and after h6, knight takes on f7. And this does not look good for black, does it? Back to our game. Guide played. Bishop to h8, preserving the dark squared bishop. Perhaps b5 would be an interesting try. Back to our game. Bishop to h8, queen to f3. More pressure on the pawn on f7. Queen to e8. White to move. How would you continue this position if you had white pieces? One git play the obvious move. Knight to f6. Check. Bishop takes on f6. Queen takes on f6. And the defender of dark squares is gone. D takes on c3. It was suggested that knight to a5 would be a better try. Maybe. Definitely maybe. How would you continue this position if you had white pieces? What is the best square for light squared bishop? One git would probably continue like this. Knight takes on h7. And after king takes on h7, queen to h4 check. And after king to g8, bishop to h6. And white is winning in this variation too. Back to our game. D takes on c3 was played. White to move. 
what would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? You want to bring the dark squared bishop to h6, but the knight is in the way, so you just sec the knight. Knight takes on f7. Rook takes knight. White play the move and black resigned. And the move is bishop to h6 and black resigned. There is no sensible defense against queen to g7 checkmate. What a beautiful game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.